In this episode, we'll look at generating open graph images. Nowadays, any website, you will need an OG image to make sure that when you post it somewhere on social media that you get a great preview. Now, some example, great example of this is GitHub. GitHub generates uh, an OG image with some statistics about your repository and the avatar and all of that. And so this is something that we can do as well with edge functions. And we can use this fantastic pack package that's called uh, open graph image. Uh, so OG edge, it is a Dino port of the Vercel OG, which is based on the open source Satori package. Um, really, really interesting project. If you want to research a little bit more into that, uh, do that, but we can also just use it. So let's go ahead and create a new function, superbase functions new, and we'll just call it OG image. And then let's open this up in VS code. Uh, and so we have our um, OG image handler here. We'll just say hello from OG image function. And uh, here we'll just remove um, the uh, entire function uh, body will just have our handler um, in here. So we'll need that. And now we're actually going to create a separate handler file. Um, because the handler needs to be um, a TSX file, because we're actually uh, using react in here. So um, we need to import react from um, esm.sh, we can do that and then our image uh, response. And so we can copy this here. Um, so we're exporting our handler. Uh, one thing actually, we're not doing any um, asynchronous operation in here just yet. Um, so obviously, we could do that, we could fetch some fonts, so we could fetch some um, images or what have you, and um, then, you know, dynamically generate that. But for now, we'll just get started with a simply simple um, hello, G image. And um, so this is our handler to generate our image response. So this actually generates um, uh, a response object of type, uh, basically PNG. Uh, and then we'll need to uh, import our um, this handler in our main um, function here. And now we'll need to import our handler from um, our handler and it's here in the same directory. So we can do this and then we can just serve our handler. Um, so our handler simply takes in the request and returns the image response. So with Superbase, we can serve our functions and test our functions locally. So first off, we'll run Superbase start to spin up our entire Superbase stack. So we get the whole um, database and um, database API and all of that. So we can interact with the whole Superbase environment. And then we can say Superbase functions serve we want to serve our OG image function. And then in order to be able to respond to get requests, we will need to pass the um, no verify JWT flag. And so now you can see we're starting up our OG image function. Um, we can see hello from OG image function. And um, we are now able to um, open up our function here. And we can see hello, OG image. So um, we've generated our image. And then also in um, local development mode, we can change this hello, superbase edge. And we can go back and if we refresh our function call, um, we get that. And we can see here, this is actually generated as an image. So we could go ahead and download this. And so this can be used um, as an OG image, for example. Now, in the last step, let's go ahead and deploy our function. So we can super say, it's pretty much the same command as the surf command. 
but instead of serving it locally, we want to deploy it. And again, we need to pass the no verify JWT flag. And then we need to enter our project reference so we can get this from um, the settings page API. We can see um, here in our URL, this is our project reference. It's also in the URL of um, the dashboard. So we'll pass that in. And so now the CLI is bundling up the image and we can go ahead and we can um, open up and inspect our function. This is our endpoint URL. And so this is now deployed live on the internet. Hello, OG image. There we are, there we have it. This is how easily we can generate uh, OG images with Superbase Edge functions. Thank you for tuning in and see you next week. Thank you.